a wire die is basically a tool that we use to reduce the wire section, reduce the wire diameter, uh, to make the, the, the wire thinner and thinner. Okay, a wire die is nothing else but a but a funnel, if we can imagine like that. Okay, where the big wire is coming in and produced through the angle, and then exits as, as a thin wire. This can be a simple indication of, of what a wire throwing is. The wire drawing process is uh, basically to reduce to a certain desired dimension section the wire that is thick at the beginning. Okay, the wire goes through different reductions, so it's not done in one single reduction, it's done in several reductions until you get the final uh, diameter. On top of that, during the drawing process, you give to the wire the characteristics you want this material to have. Tensile strength, uh, roughness, and so on. The type of materials that a wire can be is huge. Uh, we like to divide that in two types. Uh, ferrules and non ferrules The ferrules are the steels, basically, also the stainless steel, M many different kind of steels, like low carbon steel, high carbon steel. So you see many, many applications for steel. The steel, the, the, the cord you find in your tire, it can be fences for the agriculture, it can be used in construction to reinforce the concrete. Then regarding the non ferrous we have copper for electricity, also aluminum, very important ones. And then we go to molybdenum, titanium, and many, many other applications. So it's very hard to imagine how many applications wire have. The design and the, and the material we put in a, in a wire drawing die is very important. Basically, the wire drawing die is a case made of steel or brass, depending on the customer application. And then it has a core of super hard materials. Okay, That core could be tungsten carbide or diamond. What Hyperion Materials and Technology supplies today is tungsten carbide, and PCD and Versilion and Versimax. The way it affects to the final result is that uh, for tungsten carbide, for instance, you have two variables. The first variable is the, the cobalt percentage. The higher the cobalt percentage it is, the materials becomes tougher, let's say more flexible, less sensitive to the cracks. Let's say that. If you reduce the cobalt percentage, the material becomes harder and then more resistance to the wear. You can also play with the grain size in tungsten carbide. The smaller the grain size, the higher wear resistance half, and the bigger the grain size is, more tougher the material becomes. This is regarding tungsten carbide. And regarding PCD, we have two variables to play with. The first variable is the, the size of the grain, of the diamond grain, which is inside the PCD. And the second one is the, the content of metallic uh, um, binder we use in the PCD. So regarding the, the, the grain size, this in, the, in the PCD, the smaller the grain size is, the better surface quality the, the, the wire will be. For instance, the wire, the stainless steel wire that we use for medical applications, small springs or, or bulbs in, 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 in medical applications are done with this small grain size that give us a very shiny and clean surface. 
the bigger the grain size, diamond grain size is in that PCD, the more resistance to the wear the material becomes, okay? Then regarding the metallic uh, material into the PCD, if we want the PCD to be really resistant to, to high temperatures, what we do is that we leach the cobalt uh, we use to produce the PCD, then the material becomes more thermal stable, okay? Then we have two variables, two versions of the PCD, let's say like that. Metal fill, which has already some metallic cobalt there basically and thermal stable where we have leached the cobalt that makes this thermal stability. The main point that makes us special, that that makes our customer to, to select Hyperion materials and technology, I would say is the quality of the of the material and and not only the quality but the consistency in that quality so we always deliver the same level of quality and a superior level of quality this is the most important thing for a customer so the 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 bigger nightmare for a customer in our segment would be receiving one sample with one quality another sample with another quality because then the, the process that, that, that they have automatized is not working, simply not working. The second reason that I would say motivates a customer to buy from us is the service that is behind, the people that helps the customer to understand the material, to understand the applications and to support them. Most of the customers, they, they trust on us, they trust in our people and they trust in our ability to, to support them in the, in the problems that they would face during the process.